an upper right first premolar shows a shallow gingival recession. There is still a small amount of keratinized tissue, less than 2 mm. A coronally advanced flap without vertical releasing incisions is planned in combination with a mucograft collagen membrane as a substitute of autogenous connective tissue graft. Root preparation is performed with rotating instruments. A diamond burr is used on a slow speed handpiece. Then, with a M23 scaler, the root is planned in the sulcus. The dimension of the recession is reported in small excess along the gingival margin of the tooth that is going to be treated. Then, such a reference point is connected with the zenith of the gingival margin of the adjacent teeth by means of a 15C blade. Then, an intrasulcular incision is carried out along the recession and the neighboring teeth, and the papillae undergo split thickness incision. The papillae and the entire amount of keratinized tissue undergo a full thickness elevation extending in an apical direction almost 2 mm beyond the mucogingival junction. Then, a split thickness dissection is performed apically to the mucogingival junction. Such a surgical maneuver allows a passive flap advancement. The epithelialization of the papillae is performed with the 15C blade in order for preparing a connective tissue surface. A mucograft collagen matrix, properly trimmed in advance, is then secured with a single suture both to the flap and to the recipient site. A sling suture to the papillae is used to coronally advance the flap and to secure the collagen matrix at the same time. A 5-0 resorbable suture starts from the external to the internal side of the surgical papilla, then from the external to the internal side of the matrix, then again from the buccal to the palatal aspect of the mesial deepithelialized papilla. 
The seizure follows passing underneath the contact point at the opposite side, then enter the surgical papilla from its external to its internal portion, then passes through the matrix from the surface to the depth. In this formerly described suturing technique, care has to be taken that the needle will pass through the apical portion of the surgical papilla, while through the matrix it needs to pass as much coronally as possible in order to have, at the end of this surgical step, a coronal advancement of the flap to completely cover the collagen matrix itself. At 10 days after suture removal, a nice root coverage has been accomplished. After one month, the results are good and after six months, the position of the gingival margin is well established and the soft tissue thickness has been improved. <music>